How you doing? This is Professor Farrow over at Farrow Academy in Elmhurst. I'm going to show you guys how to do a knee shield. Uh, we're going to do loop choke, a different different angle. Okay, so so we're going to start from the knee shield. Okay, so usually when I do these type of chokes here, I, I keep I come up here. Okay, I put my elbow up, I come up, and I start locking the head down, and I start going for the loop choke here, especially if, if I have this sort of position, okay? Because I want to bring, bring her into me, come up, push the head like to my left, and go for the choke, because I don't want her head just to come out like that, okay? So that, that's the baseline of, of the loop chokes that I love to do from these positions. Now, thing is, there's gonna be a lot of times people are just gonna try to push my knees together like this. Okay, and th this is when I have to act. Now, I'm not gonna finish it like a regular loop choke from here. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch just like I'm, I'm framing, which is very necessary because I, I have this side kind of controlled right now. I need to have this side controlled. I don't care about controlling this side because she's gonna hug the head, switch her hips, and she's gonna end up passing, okay? So, once she goes to lock, I go right here, okay? Because I don't want her to get the cross face. I have a medium-sized grip right here, okay? Now, my knee is gonna be kind of blocking her hip, her left hip, okay? So usually when this happens to me, when I'm playing guard and I get stuck like this, I push away and I, and I re-guard to create space, okay? You're what we're gonna do differently now, I'm gonna have my grip in here so I'm not giving anything away. I'm gonna come in, push her head to, to the left, okay? Now, my fingers can't get all the way underneath yet. Okay, I just, I don't have the, I don't have the reach for that right now. I don't have the angle, okay? So I come in. Now what I need to do, I just have to stretch her out and go to the left, uh, quick to the right, and I'll get a quick tap. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm stretching, and that's able for me to get into a deeper choke. And this, this is a, a, a very tight choke from here, okay? So again, we'll do it from... You got your knee shield or half guard, and she starts smashing you. Now I gotta, I gotta act. So I cross, or I block the cross face. I come in, and I'm gripping here to push away. I'm gonna come up with the elbow, come down, and I'm grabbing like right under the bicep. Now I'm gonna stretch her and pull up with the elbow, and it's a, it's a quick tap. Okay, um, it's just like any time if 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 she's inside control or, or even like half guard. I want to just stay here. I always want to do this. I wouldn't do this, okay? Because he's gonna, she's gonna hurt my wrist, and it's not gonna be strong from here. Okay, so if I want to keep her off of me, if she starts smashing here anyway, I'm gonna, I want to start keeping her away from me. So now all I gotta do is basically bring out my elbow a little bit, bring her down, come on the head over here, and now I straighten out both my legs and I turn, and it's a real, real quick choke. So that's one of my versions of a loop choke from that position.